Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Field Trips Panama. Welcome back to Los Buzos. We are getting ready to do the most epic trip we do here at Los Buzos. We are mother shipping nine kayaks, including mine, to the far spot, 20 miles down the coast, way off the grid, way past the end of civilization. I'm excited. I never get to take my kayak down there, but I get to you today. Let's see what we get into. Let's see you guys on the water. guys welcome to San Patricio the most epic fishing spot on this stretch of coast it's been a long long time since I was able to fish this in the kayak I'm normally relegated to the Ponga for this trip just because of space getting all the clients kayaks out here but today we had room and uh, able to kayak fish out here for the first time since 2017 pretty excited about it just epic epic fishing around here uh, yeah I got a lot of fish below me right now just not, just got situated in the kayak here Looks like there might be bait below me. So we got, I think, eight clients and kayaks in the water. We got three fishing with Dakota and the Ponga. A lot of lines in the water out here and just crazy potential for some epic fishing out here. A lot of sailfish get hooked out here. That's probably what I'd like to catch the most. I need to find a live bait for that, but some great jigging opportunities out here as well. If you saw my camping series out here when we were camping in Jaguar country, we're not too far from there. This is the same area we're fishing that we were on that trip. Beautiful conditions so far this morning. The wind will probably pick up this afternoon, but for right now, just delightful. Really dramatic coastline here, absolutely gorgeous. We are in the middle of nowhere, 20 miles down from the lodge almost. There's no road that comes here, but there's still people that live here, kind of off the grid, no electricity, no running water. You can only get here by boat to these beaches and stuff where some of these, these people ranch cattle and other stuff out here. And this tip right here of land is actually the southernmost point of the North American continent. You know, we're in Central America, but that's a political distinction. North America and South America are the two continents. And this is the southernmost point of the North American continent geologically. Pretty cool to be fishing out here in a little plastic boat. Not too many gringos can say they have fished here, especially in a kayak. Let's see if we can get in some epic fish today. This place never disappoints. Look at these fish right below my kayak. Big school of bait. Wow, tons of fish right below me. I don't know if y'all can see that. Wow, I can see my jig going down through the school. This is wild. I think these might be spawning. All right, ton of fish right here at the surface. I can see them on the depth finder. And I can see them in the water. Couldn't tell what they were, but they look like blue runners or big eye trevally, something good for bait. And I think I kind of spooked them because now they've moved down deeper on my depth finder. Let's see if we can't get one to hit or, damn, they're so dense. Maybe I can snag one. Man, I just had to follow a rooster all the way to the kayak on the diver. Crazy rooster. There's some fish in the area. That was Mukledis from Kuwait. It's a Hobie dealer in Kuwait. He just said he had a huge rooster follow his diver all the way to the boat. And he also had a fish on the live bait already this morning, but it came off. I think it was a Kubera. Switching out this little jig. Got too many fish below the boat, not hitting the other one. Switch colors and profile here and try this guy. Oh, 
Yep, yep. Got a bait, I think. Yep, great bait. That's a blue runner, that is money bait. There's blue runners out here, guys. Charles, you may want to come over here. There's a bunch down there, hard to get them to hit, but I finally got one. Getting a run, getting a run, getting a run. Ah, uh, getting a run in my, I want to turn my camera on and kind of backlash the reel a little bit and put some pressure on it. I think you probably dropped it. Maybe not though. Does anybody else besides Brandon have a rooster and a cubera from a car? I think it took me into the rocks already. <sighs> okay. <sighs> I'm either on or he took me in the rocks. I can't tell. I still feel the fish, but I feel, I think it's in the rocks. You gotta get it out. I'm hooked up big over here, I'm hooked up big. Fish on, but it feels really weird. It feels really weird. It's pulling me. It's definitely a fish. Oh, yeah. Charles, I'm getting drugged super fast by a big fish. Super fast by a big fish. Okay, I'm on the way. Oh. Oh. Wow. Flying, you guys. Flying. Oh. Oh. It was towing me super fast a second ago, but it's fighting weird. I'm a little worried it's a shark. It's coming up now. Maybe not, maybe not, maybe not. Ah. It's heavy. Oh. And now it's digging down. Drag is tight, super locked down. He's still pulling it out. Oh. I'm a little worried this is a shark. It's not making the fast runs that I would expect from like a rooster. Oh my gosh, it's something strong. That's for sure. It's not too far below me. The water's really clear, but I don't see it. Oh, yeah, I do. I'm a little worried it's a shark, man. Oh, big fish, you guys. Oh, 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 oh my gosh. Something big, dude. I'm really worried it's 
the shark. It's fighting weird. Oh, it's heavy. Oh, I see it. I see it. Got color. It's not a shark. Not a shark. Rooster, baby. Nice rooster. <laughs> Gallo, amigo. Nice rooster. Dude, it's a monster. Oh my gosh. Monster rooster. Holy. Oh, grandote, huh? Wow. Look at that. Oh. Okay. I think he's hooked pretty deep, man. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna get this. Okay. Hooks free. Oh my gosh. Monster. That was intense. That was intense. I'm gonna pedal this girl around and revive her. She's gonna need it. That was an intense fight. I could use a little reviving if I'm being honest. <laughs> Monster guy -o. Cock a doodle do. Those blue runners, man, it's the candy. I told you, if we get some, we're gonna bring some roosters up. <sighs> man, destroyed my kayak, dude. The fish finder's knocked off. <sighs> oh, incredible. What a fish. <laughs> Wow, 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 wow. I'm gonna see if she'll just go, but she might not. Oh. I can still see her. Oh. What a fish. That's probably 51, 52 inches long. Trophy class around here, we call it 48 inches. I just released about a 50 inch rooster fish on the Blue Runner Giant. Oh Get man. Your ass in the water and then re kick your ass in the kayak. She about broke my camera boom. I need to check this. Thought my GoPro was gonna go in. Geez, slime on the GoPro, fish slime. She whacked it pretty good a few times. Man, I love those fish. So damn strong, dude. You saw that thing pulling me? Before you got there, dude, I was flying. I was like, this has gotta be a shark. It was pulling me so fast. Ah. Dios mío, amigo. Que fuerte son. Y estaba jalándome muy rápido. Wow. That was sick. Blue runners, man, I'm telling you, they're the candy. Uh, gotta get some more for these guys. I don't think there's any other fish I've ever caught that pulls that hard on that heavy of gear. This is the Shimano Speedmaster on the Tackle Direct Platinum Hook Rods. It's a stand-up tuna rod. I picked these up at Tackle Direct. You can actually shop all my favorite offshore tackle that we use out here in Panama and New Zealand and Mexico, everywhere I go. I got a whole page on their website with all my favorites. You can go on there and shop. I'll put a link down in the description. But this setup is not light, and that rooster was kicking my you know what and pulling me so fast. That was wild. Those fish never get old. We're gonna get up here, get back on that bait spot, see if we can't find some more bait. So if anyone doesn't have a live bait, you want to join me out here, we're gonna get back on the spot, see if we can't pull up more. We get more blue runners, we're gonna get more roosters today. It's a money back guarantee. Uh-huh, uh-huh, okay. Aquí también. Travis, get over here, quick. Ah, oh, la verga. Never mind. Working so hard for these things, very disheartening when they come off. Just keep grinding. 
Got a bait on. I believe it's a bonita. Oh, get up here. Yes, sir, bonita. Come on. Hey, you need a bait? This is a blue runner, man. This is the candy. The best bait. All right, let out. Plenty of line, nice light drag. Stick around here, we'll get you one too. These are blue runners, this is what we want. There's a lot of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One of you guys around me want a bait? Who wants a bait? Got one here, come to me quick. Okay, if you want a rooster, I would take it in shallower. Yep, 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 there it is, and there it is. The very next drop. Fred, I got one. Fred, get over here as fast as you can. That's a pretty good size one. Blue runner. That's what we want. You ready to throw me that hook? Great job, get over here quick. Ready? Got him? Something might have it. Yeah, something might have it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Something's got my bait. Uh -uh. Oh. No, did something drop it? Damn, something ran with my bait. And now I dropped it, I think. Yeah. Oh, no, no, I did not drop it. Or did it? Golly, what's happening? Uh, 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 yeah. I'd say something had it. Golly. Never got the hook. And it grabbed it again when I was reeling it up because I felt the weight and then all of a sudden felt something pulling back. Go ahead and drop the head back down. Maybe whatever it is, I'll come back for it to finish the job. Man, thought I had that for a second. <sighs> Got the better of me. Came off. Hey, was that last one on that on that head? Uh, this one's on the tail right now. I think he came back. I think he came back. I think he came back. He's on now. Or whatever. Is biting it again. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. 
You copy? Yeah, I copy. We got fish on. Okay, before you talk, it's cutting off what you're asking for. sharp teeth okay but right inside their gill plate up near their chin you can get your hands right in there but take your time he's tired he looks hooked pretty good just keep your fingers out of his mouth okay Is it inside his gill plate or where? Yeah, like right in his chin, right here. Right in his chin. Okay. You, you, your fingers will be able to slide in up until about the second knuckle. All right. I'll help you if you want, but. Nah, I got it. Hey, put, put that rod like so you can get some line. Put it in a rod holder. Whatever you got to do. That's fine, there you go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, Ryan. Oh yeah, baby. Woo! Right, look at me, look at me. Awesome, awesome. Holy. Sick, now they keep it over here, guys. Alright. Yeah, you're doing a good job. Yeah, we're crossing like the uh, most we've ever caught in a day here. Yeah, pretty sick. Dude, yeah, that's like six or seven already. Congrats, guys. You guys are doing awesome. Yeah, man, so if you, when you're ready, just dump him. Dump him. Dump him. Just get a little. Aerials on. Blue shirt. A brown kayak. Yeah, buddy. He's gone? Yeah. Let's go. Awesome, awesome. Woo! Gas? Gas. <laughs> Not gas. Great work, man. Great work. Nice, dude. Yeah. Ryan, right, Ryan? Ryan. Yeah, Ryan just landed the coup Just let her go. Fat bait. Okay. Right behind us, they got a There you go, Jose. Got him? Yeah. Shit. All right, coming at you, coming at you. Got another fish on over here with the group. Yeah. That's how they are. Keep eating, keep eating, keep eating. Ahí, cuando toma la corrida, lo traba. Ahí. Cuando él toma la corrida, lo traba. Man. He's not. There you go. Nicely done. Pio, Pio, necesito tu con camera cuando cerca la lancha. Con tu mano malo. Pio's got a swollen hand right now from the tang is getting pinched on him. Yeah. 
Florida Gator in Panama. There we go. Oh man, that's a fish. Jose on the big one. Yep. Oh, not yet. <laughs> there you go. Keep the pressure on him. Oh, it's yeah. Oh, I see color. Keep going, keep going. I might get two drews. What is it? No, Kuwera? Oh, no, come here, come here. Kuwera? Yep. No, 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 no. Just start to see some color. Yep, there he is. All right, yeah. We're gonna come up. All right, right there is good. Mm. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh, that's some big teeth. That leading fish? No. Once they get that big, I don't think they're good to eat, right? Oh, uh, not really. They are good to eat when they're small. Yeah. They're a snapper, so. Oh, oh, no. All right, look at this. These guys fishing the boat here just pulled up a nice Kubera snapper. Yeah, buddy. Dang. Nice Kubera. Is that on Bonita? Yep. Great work, man. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, we got Jose here with a stud Kubera snapper on the wide Bonita. Yes, sir. Oh yeah, Travis. It's about damn time. It's a. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah. Yeah, let's f***ing go, baby. Ha <laughs> ha! Look at the camera. Ha <laughs> ha, it's good. Ha <laughs> ha another Kubera snapper just came up. Charles is helping these guys land them. It's turning into the day that Kubera's here. These Benitas are getting hammered. All the Kuberas seem to be fired up right now. Uh, I think it's only been about five minutes since the last one got caught. So wild. <laughs> One of the hardest fish to land out here, and these guys are killing it right now. Just ripping them up, no problem. Need to work on getting myself a bait, see if I can't catch one today.